For a man with an internet history as exotic as Simon's, emergency family meetings were never good news. Uh -oh. I've been waiting for you, Simon. Sorry, I was busy. I have a life too, you know. And what's so important we have to have a meeting, like, like businessmen or something? Well, <laughs> I don't really know where to start. <laughs> my company are making a lot of people redundant. I've managed to keep my job, but it means moving to Swansea. Where's that? Is it far? It's in Wales. You must have heard of Swansea, Simon. I haven't, and I'm not moving to fucking Wales. Hey, mind your language. Simon, I know it's a lot to take in, but please try and stay calm. <coughs> it's been an incredibly tough decision for us to make. I mean, I would have been out of a job. Oh, it's all about you, isn't it? What about me? What about my friends? My other relationships? <laughs> what? And my exams? I mean, one minute you're all like revolving right, exams? Your eyes, the next you move me to Swansea. Oh, is that an accident the examination sometime. board and you'll be able to sit the same exams in Swansea. You'll just do them at a local college. I'm not going. Me, you is going. Your fucking plans. I'll get Total selfish wanker. I don't understand why he doesn't just get another job. It's not like he's even well paid. He's in his fucking 40s. His life is practically over. What is Swansea? Is it an animal? It's a place. It don't sound near. It's in Wales. The fuck oh, you mean? Wait, they say it's well grim up north. <laughs> yes, they do, but Wales isn't up north, Jay. <laughs> Wherever it is, Michael fucking Palin, it's not round here, is it? No. But on the plus side, I've heard Swansea's quite nice. Really? Who from? A friend of my grand's. Right, is that supposed to make me feel better? That's all I've got, I'm afraid. That's pretty much it for me and Carly, then. Oh, you well, have nothing well, with her. still not have a relationship long distance. Yeah, good one. Yeah. So can we have a crack at her then? No. Yeah. Oh, don't be a dick. I'd love to have a go on that. Think about that lovely snatch. Fuck off, Neil. Just fuck off. Yeah. I'm having a nightmare here. <laughs> All right, calm down. You're not the only one having problems. Really, what problems did you have, Neil? Bent old man. Wants to fuck own sister. Mum did a legger. No, none of them. I think I'm going to be a dad. Neil, you have to fuck a girl for that to happen. I know. I did it with this bird from Asda and now she's pregnant. What? Congratulations. Are you serious? No fucking way. So you're you not never person. told nobody? Don't think so. Nice one, mate. I knew you lose your V plates for these sad pricks. Welcome to the Shaggers Club, where only 50% of the members have had sex. Let's back up 30 seconds. <laughs> this is very <laughs> serious. I have a couple of questions, Neil. Man, yeah. Shut up, nerd yeah. boy. What does it feel like? It felt great. Trust it's all right. Me. All right. Anything else? No one's expecting D.H. Lawrence, Neil, but did you think anything other than this is all right? My legs ached. I give up. This is a big deal. How did yeah, it happen? Well, we was both on a That's cheese true. counter and she was being like well saucy and that. And then we went back to words in our lunch break and did it and now she's pregnant. How romantic. Are you sure she's pregnant? Yeah, she texted me. Look. Did the test. It's positive. Thought you should know. Two dots in a diagonal line. Man, tell all the other guys too because it ain't mine. Why didn't you use protection? Well, she told me she couldn't have any more. Anymore? She's the girl that had helped me discover that he was a wanker. Wait, two minutes. Simon. Oh, and that's the majority of teachers in real life. Oh, yeah. It's the end of my life. They're just so trying to get that's a job and then it's getting oh. done. <laughs> We're gonna miss the bus. Anyway, I've got to go. I'll, I'll see you soon. I mean, oh, shut up. I'm just waiting for my change. It's eight pounds. Where's my change? Madness. Um, I'll see you. I suppose I just always thought that we might, you know, we might. We have to go. I've got to go. Man, shut up, soon. hater. I'll see you soon, son. What? We might what? Say it. Come on. Make love? Was it make love? Carly! Make love? What a loser! A fucking change! Thank you! So it finally happened. Carly wow. and Simon's brain explode. That stupid ugly bitch just ruined it for me with Carly? Well, she's been controlling your personality for the last 18 years. Wow, cuz he's major Sorry, crazy for that woman, you man. For you before you leave. He ain't well, going nowhere. Over, sort his hair out and that. Could do. I was thinking more along the lines of a camping trip to the countryside. Pubs, long walks, no parents, no girls, just the four of us, the lads, a tent and a load of beers. Sounds like a bent version of Brokeback Mountain. Which would be a heterosexual <laughs> version. Is this like a posh show's tradition? Did your mates do the same thing for you when you left Hogwarts? Um, he didn't have no friends. Oh, right. Well, I'm up for it. It'd do me a lot of good to get away for a bit, you know, out in the country, get me head straight. Should bring your old man along. See if you can get him straight as well. Fuck off. I don't know, Will. I don't think I'll be much company. Oh, come on, son. Dude. Laugh. He's about to no, punch that dude, punch man. Like it's about to happen soon. Nah, I can't. I can see it. He charged me, so I had to knock it out. One punch. Nice. I had to leg it, though, because this mate saw what was going on. And no word of a lie. They stood up on their hind legs, started firing milk at me from their tits. Udders. Well, yeah, there were loads of them. Right. What do you reckon, Sai? Fancy a weekend punching cattle? No. No. I've got two weeks left here, and I'd rather spend them trying to finally get together with Carly than hanging around with you lot, talking shit about cows and fucking camping. Steaming drunk Simon. Will, it's me, Simon. Yes, I know. Man, you were right. I've got to make Carly believe in me. 
make the sort of gesture she'll never forget. That doesn't sound like me. Are you drunk? I'm going in. This might be my last chance to see her. She must be fucking her boyfriend, man. Maybe make love to her. Right, fine. I'm coming to get you as long as you promise never to say make love again. So like a superhero, I went off to Simon's rescue. A superhero in slippers and a dressing gown. Simon! Oh, Simon, shit. Please! Oh, Christ. She's gonna be with her boyfriend. It's me, Simon. What was it you wanted to say? Was it about making love? Ah, oh, he rapist. Daddy. No. Sleep. What's happening? He's just shush your little fucking mouth. You're not my daddy. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Run! 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 Romeo and Juliet. Unfortunately, the execution was pure crime. Oh, yeah. shit! Oh, shit! Don't worry. Oh, shit! Don't worry again. <laughs> You're not going to shout at me, are you, Dad? My head really hurts. <laughs> no, I'm not going to shout. You're trying to rape that talk, kid! Man. Oh, shit! Oh, it's going to be stressful for you. You <laughs> might feel a crazy. Um, yeah. But you can't go touching up children. Not now. Not ever. Not kiddies, Si. Oh, God, no. No. No, it wasn't that <coughs> at all. I got the wrong bedroom. I wanted to touch Carly. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, thank Christ. Thank God. I've been Googling chemical castration all morning. Well, I think you need to forget about her for a while. You go near that house, her dad's going to fuck you up. His words, not mine. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh, no, sorry, mate. That was me. It just slipped out. Oh, my God. What? Fucking me. Oh, God. It doesn't smell your ass. Despite Neil's anxious bowels burning our eyes and choking our lungs, we'd made it. I'd researched this place online, and it certainly delivered. Secluded, remote, beautiful. So where do we shit? What? When we need to do a shit, where do we shit? Hang on, he's right. Where are we going to shit? Well, usually you place the trench at least 20 yards away from site, downstream, of course. First, we need to clear the ground, make sure the site is safe, and then put up our tent. Oh, fuck that. Let's just crack open the beers and build a fucking massive fire. You can't just build a fire. It takes preparation. I mean, have we even asked the landowner's permission? Will, I didn't come here for a refresher course in the countryside code. I just want to get pissed and have a laugh. I won't be able to do any of this in Wales. What, because there's no fields? No, because I won't have any mates. Oh, you won't need mates. Welsh birds are total filth. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much all British porn stars are Welsh. And most of them don't even get paid. They just do it for cock. Oh, OK, made up sluts. Now I'm glad I'm going to Swansea. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Swansea. <laughs> Fine, Simon. Look. For camp and my team to fuck it up. What the fuck have you done? Hi, right, Will. Fancy a sausage? Calm down. I just got it going. I didn't even need a fire gaze badge. No, just some petrol. You put petrol on it? Wait a minute. Is that my fold-up table on the fire? And my picnic basket? I thought you said look for stuff to burn. What? Burn fucking wood, not my stuff! Oh, fucking hell! Why have you done that? <coughs> Look, someone had to take charge of this weekend or it was going to be all Monopoly and shitting in trenches. Look, come on, sit down, have a beer, have a sausage, just chill. I'll chill when you stop burning my fucking possessions. Oh, Man, we would fight for, for that. Everyone. That's disrespectful. This, for everyone to use, not to burn. What are you doing? The fire's going down. Stop burning my things. Oh, all right, I forgot. Jeez. You could have took that off. We were barely dumbass. an hour from yeah. home, but somehow that meant the burn in my possessions was not only okay, but hilarious. <laughs> oh, come on, we're sorry. It was just a joke. We'll do whatever you want to cheer you up. Anything you like. You should be beating them dudes' ass for that, man. Like? Oh, fuck off. Apart from that. Look, if you want to play a game, I've got a proper game, not a shit one. Don't think about it, you lot might be too pussy to play. It's not that game you used to play with your weird neighbour in his shed, is it? Well, that never happened. Yeah, you told me about it years ago, just after we moved away. No, well, I never. What? Knob. Right, to start with, you all have to... Tell us about that story. ...text someone in their phone book. So, right, you've got Will's phone, yeah? So when you text someone, they'll think it's from him? So does that mean I have to write it all posh and, like, all hurdy-wurdy-durdy? Nah, the only rule is that you can write whatever you like and no one can stop you. I just want to say, for the record, there's no way anything good can go out of this. Ready? Go. I've only got five numbers in my phone, and three of them are you lot, so do your worst. Well, as long as one of the others is your mum, you're still in trouble. Neil, come on. That's too much. I think that is literally the point of the game. Oh, fuck. Right, guys. Who's wrong do you have? 
Right, so I wrote from Simon's phone to Carly. Carly, I love you from the bottom of my cock. Oh. Uh, the thought of leaving you is making me cry. Better. And I'm using those tears as lube to wank with. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Simon. I texted Jay's dad and wrote, Dad, I'm just thinking about you. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm in the bath and I'm hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neil? Fairly standard to Will's mum. Mum, it's been 17 years, but I'd love to have another go on your big old tits. Oh, no. Then I'd like to smash in your back doors, brackets anus. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll come up while I send her a text. She'll think, oh, good, he's just let me know he got there safely. And then she'll read that. Yep. Right then, Sai, what did you send to, I presume, Neil's dad? Uh, you presume wrong. I've gone for a slightly different flavour. I've written to the soon-to-be mother of his child. Oh, what? At least that's who I guess saucy as to Karen is. It is. Good, because uh, <coughs> I've written, Karen... I love you and love that you are to be the mother of my child. Marry me? <laughs> oh, brilliant. I only met her a month ago. She smells of cheese most of the time. Well, because of all the knobs she's had. Hell yeah. <laughs> Coming out. It's too dark to collect wood and you've burned everything I own. Well, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get Sai's car and shine the lights over here. Oh, here you are then. This was embarrassing. I haven't lost a game of Monopoly since I was seven, and yet I was about to be beaten by Something about to happen, don't took worry. pride in the fact he couldn't count to a hundred. He really wants to win, doesn't he? I never knew he was so competitive. I can't get enough of these sausages. I love them raw in the middle. Ugh, you can't eat those oh, raw in the middle. Now you owe me 1500 oh, quid. my fucking car! Oh shit. That's just, fucking hell, why are there no rocks? It's the countryside! Why are there any fucking rocks? Your fist, bro. What are you smash the window with? Jay's face? Oh, my arms hurt. Your foot? I don't know why they're bothering to get that rock. The way I look at it, it's inevitable that the car's gonna go into the lake. I suppose it's nature. You can't fight nature. Exactly. It's going in anyway. My arms hurt. We might as well just let go. Do you think Simon will be annoyed? How can he be? It's logical. We can't stop it. We are stopping it a bit now. It's inevitable, Neil. Trust me. Man, that guy's yeah, a fucking free, dick. Right? Why would gotcha. anybody be his friend? One, two. No! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I, I, I'm. Oh my god! I would not fuck with those guys, man. Do you want a lager, Sai? Yes. No. <laughs> Politics as usual. You got a text too, Neil. <laughs> your bird, maybe you should read it. Oh, thank you, God, thank you. Well, she said yes to the marriage proposal then. Much better. It says, you dopey prick, not pregnant, tested positive for... What's that say, Will? Herbie. Chlamydia. Yes, get in! What's chlamydia? Well, uh, how should I put this, Neil? Ugh. You have a child on the way, but you do have an STD. <laughs> I've got an STD! Yes, an STD! Woo! It's good night. Sorry about your car, Si. Doesn't matter, it was a shit car anyway. Thanks for the send-off. suppose when I'm away from you lot... Jesus, that stinks, Neil. Is that a fart? No, I burp. It ain't great, though. I think it's some sausages. Whatever, good night. Well, I'll get the fucking light then, shall I? <sighs> night, gay lords. <laughs> gay lord. Si, I was wondering, when you're gone... Yeah? What do you want us to do with Will? Like, look after him and stuff? I'm not a stray cat, Neil. Yeah, but you do shit in a hole in the ground. Brilliant. I'll just worry about you, that's all. I think I'll be fine. Good night. Thanks, though, Neil. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! It's in my hair! <laughs> it's a sausage. It's... Oh, God, get out. I've got to get out. Be oh, that. Oh, oh, it always makes you puke. Don't puke in here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You nasty piece of shit! I can't find the zip! I can't find the zip! Oh no! <laughs> Great! Oh, my mum's texted me back. <coughs> Some backdoor action then. <coughs> it said, I love you. <coughs> it's a template. Well, she is up for it. Neil should get a bummer because it was his text that got a frothy. True. <laughs> oh, new man got a date. We're off down to the high street to catch up with last week's phone shop 